All right, hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna look at how to solve some problems with DAX function. Okay, let us look at how to solve this business problem using DAX. So the very first thing we're gonna do right now, it says right here, it actually says, um, let's, just, let's just go with this. It says create a calculated column. Calculated column in the product table is where we're gonna create this particular calculated column to calculate the total transaction in Canada without the use of calculate function. So calculate function would have made it very easy, but right now we are restricted not to use the calculate function. Instead, let us look at the hint. So right here it says use a related table function to get values from the many side of the table relationship to the one side of the table relationship. So the second one says use a related function. Here is another function just like the related table function here to get values from one side Previously, it says from many side, but now it's saying from one side of the table relationship to the many side. So right here, our goal is to learn about this particular function we have right here called um, called a related table and as well a related here. So enough of the talking, let us see how we can actually do this in action. And at the end of the day, after we might have created everything, we are going to slice or show our result using any dimension related to the product uh, table to actually have this filtered. So we're going to come back to here. Let's do this first. So clicking on this particular part, if I click here now, we're going to see that we have this particular, you know, simple model right here. So right here, we have our one side. Here is our one side as well. And here is the many side. So which means the relationship between this now is one to many. One to many. So getting something from here to here is going to be possible by we using related table to do that. So if we want to get something from one side to the many side, the only possible way to do that is to actually use a function called uh, just related to actually do that. So can you see this now? Very simple. So we're going to take a look at this in detail. Let us go back to our main table. So the question says, create a calculated column inside the product table. So in case you have any issue importing your data, so don't worry, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to fix the errors you are going to have. It's very easy. It's a regional setting you need to do in your Power BI settings. I'm going to show you that. Let's do it. So the very first thing you do is to right click and create a new column here. So inside this particular new column you have actually created, what we're going to do with it is to actually say numbers of what? Transaction in Canada. So I'm gonna put my equal sign here, shift, enter. And uh, the first thing I do is to use a function called count rows. So count rows will go into any table we supply to it and actually count how many rows we have. That would be our total transaction. So using the count rows here, what we're going to do with the count rows is to count the numbers of what? The numbers of transaction we have inside our transaction table. Shift, enter. If I go ahead and close this and hit my enter key, let us see what we have. So now we have the same, same number over every single rows in this particular product, which is the grand total. So we have 56,046, right? Let us go to our transaction table and see what happens there. So right here, we have the same number, 56,046 rows here. That is exactly what we have gotten at this particular part here 
which is not really cool. So we do not want to get the what? The grand total. The reason why it's returning the grand total is because of a relationship problem. So now we have to fix this. And we cannot fix this with what? With a related function. Instead, we are going to use a related table because I said it pulls something from the main side to the one side. And here on the product table, we are on the one side. To do that, shift enter i'm going to use what we call a related table this is the function here i'm going to wrap that over this here close it and hit your enter key let us see how it's going to filter down what we have here do you see this this number you have here in this particular column right now will still be equal to that particular fifty-six thousand and something let's try to see if this is true first of all let us go back right here so here we have 56,046, right? So if I go to this view, all I just have to do is to insert a new visual and that visual should be a card visual. So let's do that. I'm going to remove this and uh, insert a new card visual here. So go into this particular place here and uh, get it into a card. So now what we have is just a count. So we need to actually create a measure to solve this problem here. So go right here and uh, create a new measure instead of a column. So inside this merger, what you're going to use is just to see calendar, transaction, so equals, using the sum function here, I'm gonna just reference my transaction here, so which is this one below here, and this is exactly what it is. Go ahead and click on enter. So now we have it. I will definitely format it and uh, from there I'm going to change what I have here to my new measure. Let's click, click on that. So here we go. So from here now what I need to do is just to actually click on this particular part to format it. So you can click here to switch to the format view and um, let's remove this from auto to none. Now, can you see? We have the same number. So what is producing this number? It is actually this particular column we have right here that does produce that particular number we have seen. But the thing is this, is that what we want? No. It says we must only filter down to all the transactions that happened in Canada. How do we do that? Very simple and easy. So we have to use the under function called filter. So the filter function will be able to aid us to do this. So I'm going to shift, enter, and uh, we we'll use the filter function here. So using the filter function, already we have this. Let me move this. So this gives me a nice formatting. That is great. So from here now, we want to actually move into our other table. And that table is a, is a one side to the transactional table where we actually have the countries, you know, writing, the country column writing. So all I have to do in this case is to actually come here and close this, then hit my comma. It's looking for the filter expression. So for the filter expression now, shift, enter. I'm going to use a related function here. So using this related function, look at what it says. It's looking for a column. Return a related value from another table. And what table is that? It's actually our country. And here we have the country here. So go ahead and close this and say where the country is actually equal to what? Canada. Then we go ahead and close this right here. I think this is all we need to do. So by the time I hit my enter key right now, it should narrow down the value we have in each and every one of these rows right here. So by this time, if we go all the way back right here, so we have actually calculated for Canada. But actually, this is not what we wanted to do. This is not how we wanted to show this right here. So instead, what do we do? Um, let's some kind of change this. I'm going to come here now. I want to change this to a table. And from there, I want to actually add one more column. And this column should be in from my product table. Then I'm going to select, um, let's just select product color from here. So now we can swap this. We can take this and move it up. Or we can bring this down. How possible is that? Okay, it's possible. So now this has been 
corrected. So let us actually format it a little bit. So I'm going to come here, close this. No, we don't want this. Step off it and step back in. Then, then, then we go into value area here. And let us put the value to like 20. And uh, we go for the header. So we put the header to like 16. And this is showing quite well. So can you see it now? So in case you have any doubt right now, what you're going to do to see what we have here is actually this. So we can quickly go ahead and create a new measure here. And in this measure, we are going to right click here and just create a new measure. What this measure is actually going to do is to actually give us the total transaction, which is numbers of what of transaction. So using the controls here, so we use the uh, transaction table. So once we close and hit our enter key right now, this is going to give us the total transaction we've had. So here we go. Here is our total transaction. And uh, for this particular one is the one we actually had in Canada. So can you look at this beautiful thing we have done right now? This is far, far simple. Very easy, right? So this is exactly what we are some kind of expected to do. If I come back right to this particular place right now, you can now see that what we have done is actually exactly according to what we have right here. You get it? So now you see we have done this over over the product table and that we have created in that measure to make sure we submit and we did not use the calculate function and we went ahead and used a related table to bring something from many side to one side and from one side to many side. Okay, let us go with the settings I was actually talking about. Let us see the settings before I show you another way to solve the same problem with just a calculated column. So now we have done this without calculated column. All right. If you have any issue with the data, importing the data into your Power BI, so after you imported it, you have some error on your date. Just go right here and uh, click on options and settings. So click on, click on options here, and from there, just wait for it. So right here, click on this particular region, settings, and make sure you turn the region settings application here to the language to be United States and here United States. So if you are done from this particular global expert here, go to the current file and just go to regional settings here and make sure you are using United States. Make sure it corresponds. So I'm going to tell you why. When you receive file from the United States and somebody try to open it in the United Kingdom, so there will be problem of region in terms of date, the way the date format is in the United Kingdom is different from the way the date format is in the United States. So you have to make sure you do this setting. And one cool aspect of this is that this setting only affects your current file. It does not affect any other subsequent file that will come into the Power BI. That's exactly what you should actually understand. Okay, now we have done this. Let us look at how to solve the same problem with a DAX function using calculate function. So what I'm gonna do right now is this. Before I do that, let us click on this particular part right here. And I'm gonna click here. And uh, from there, I will definitely click, where could I do that? Let us come to this particular part and try to filter this by our territory here. I'm gonna choose country, for example. So by the time I choose country, look at what happens. So this has been broken. It's not more correct because we have actually chose country to actually, you know, if our slice and dice this, right? So the filter context has been broken. So the simple way to do this without having any error is using the calculate function. Let me show you that. So come right here, right click and uh, click a new merger. So using the calculate function, we do not need to specify any table like related or related table. All we just have to do, I'm going to say measure. Inside this measure, uh, you will definitely do uh, numbers of Canada. 
trans for a shirt. So all I have to do is to come here and use the calculate function. So with the calculate function, what do I need to do? So if I already have my transaction created, all I need to do is to bring that particular measure right in here, which I have. That is going to be my measure called numbers of transaction right here, not the one that I have branched out to create Canada from. So which is this one? Then I hit my comma. It's asking me for filter. So right now, I only want to narrow this down to what? To the uh, to Canada transaction. So all I have to do right now is to shift, enter. I'm going to say, okay, where the country? Here. So here is the country from the territory lookup table. Is actually equal to, do this and uh, put your Canada here. Then close this and uh, finally shift, enter to close your calculate function, then hit enter. You can see how simple this is. But the question you might have in mind is like, if you know we can do it in a simple way like this, why must we go through the heck of the previous one to create this one that has broken here? Let us drag this one into here right now. Let's see what's gonna happen. So let's see this. All right, here we go to, so we have just seen exactly what we have right here. But right now, there is no much difference. It's still giving us the same, you know, our grand total all true. So what can we do to only figure out just where we have been selected? All we have to do is to go back to our code right here and wrap this particular code with what we call um, keep filter. So the keep filter function will deal with this. If I hit my enter key, watch what is going to happen in a few seconds. So now I only have Canada selected. This is what I want to show you. So today, if you look vividly or if you remembered what we have done, we have just learned about, you know, different functions like the controls. The controls. Then we learned about related function. So we've learned about related table. And finally, we have learned about, you know, keep filter, keep filter, and the calculate function to actually change how we see, you know, our values. So calculate function is either removing or adding to our filter context and stuff like that. This is exactly what it is. So we have the same value. So just open your mind to the world DAX and keep learning every single day. I'm going to say thank you for watching. Download the file, practice, 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 and always come to this channel to learn more. So if you want to actually see where I solve problem creating dashboards. So I have most of my videos on dashboards and I'm actually coming up with DAX because of the request I've been having from subscribers. Happy learning, keep learning, and keep upgrading your skill.